Well, it's 2012. Uh, last year, we did a lot of work with identifying mushrooms and uh, our first attempts at propagating them in mass with uh, mass spore inoculation or whatever it's called. And um, so we're seeing a lot more mushrooms, we think, in the forest this year. Or maybe we're just more tuned into them. We'll have to continue our experiments to really find out if, if uh, we've made a change or not. But uh, there are some interesting things. Here I come across a madrone tree, and this has been cut at some point. I think there's a trail right here, so that's probably why. And uh, this mushroom is uh, growing on that madrone tree. A lot of mushrooms decompose wood, and then they build the soil that way. This particular mushroom is looking a little old now. I left it here. Uh, hopefully I took a photo. And uh, I'm going to collect it. At about this age, you can see how it's looking kind of haggard and, and discolored. It was really nice white color before. Uh, the, the, the thing is, is that there's almost no mushrooms we've found that will decompose madrones. And, uh, and that, I've always thought that was a little weird, but this one does. And we haven't seen it before. Let's smell it. It's gotten a little tough. It smells like a mushroom. So no special smell. I'm just going to harvest this one big one. It's already put out a lot of spores. It's very tough. There we go. So spores come out of these gills here. And what we can do is mix that with a liquid. Uh, the spores will actually sort of, uh, in a sense, mate or uh, germinate together. It's, it's not quite like seeds, so there's not really an analogy for it that I understand. But so these, uh, these little spores will then mix and I'll make mycelium. And that mycelium is the white stuff that's actually the mushroom. It lives below the ground. Um, hi, Callie Spot. This is a cat, Callie Spot. She's very pretty. Hi, honey. Uh, so I'm going to take these up and put them in some jars. What we do, we did this last year in five gallon buckets with a lot of mushrooms. Now, this is a very special mushroom. And I've got another madrone stump that's really old. It was here when I got here. It hasn't rotted because nothing rots it. So this might be a very rare fungus. We'll see more of them coming off the wood later, so I'm not too worried about destroying the only one I've got. Uh, so anyway, in this water, we'll put uh, Pilancillo. You could use molasses. I believe that's what Paul Stamets would use. But I have Pilancillo. It's like a brown sugary stuff. And a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to try a couple different ingredients, because we're about to do a bigger experiment with, with uh, amounts of sugars and and everything and see how much the mycelium grow in different situations. This year we want to take every mushroom that's super valuable and not super common and we want to propagate the hell out of the mushrooms, uh, make lots of mycelium and then spray that in places we believe it'll do well. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic year for that. I learned the original technique from a book by Paul Stamets. He didn't go into the details of how to do that a lot but uh, in a few years here, we'll be experts on it. Maybe in maybe after this year. Who knows? So, yay, weird mushroom. <laughs>